Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android and I uh, have the uh, Galaxy Tab Pro. Uh, we did a video on, um, on the magazine UX and now I just want to talk about multi-window. It works pretty much the same way as um, what we've seen in the past, but there is some differences. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure it's turned on and I, I believe it's on by default. But you want to go here into your power, um, there's two ways of doing it. You go into your uh, power quick toggles, whatever they're calling it these days, and um, you simply uh, go into that by just swiping down and hitting that icon to the right, and make sure multi-window is highlighted. The other option is to just go down, it's actually a little bit longer, hit the settings, and, uh, well actually I don't know if it's longer really, but it's going into your main settings and then making sure multi-window is toggled into the on position. Now, in order to uh, open up, uh, in the past, in the Galaxy Note 3, the latest version that we saw of this, let me just quickly show, um, it's actually on but uh, right now, but you would access it by hit, holding down the back key, and um, in the menu would show out, and you could scroll through whatever and edit the menu and stuff. And then when you were done with it, you would just, tuck it away and you'd see that little icon there that does not happen anymore with the new so and then you just tap that and it comes out you can actually also uh, move this from one side to the other and it would be there and then when you don't want it you just long press on the back key and it would be gone so the big difference here is how that works and uh, you can still hold down the back key and there it is, and of course it's a little bit um, wider and offers more apps. Um, but as you can see, there's no icon there showing it. It's always available to you. So what you really, all you really need to do is just swipe from the right to the left. From what I can tell, you can't switch this to the other side. This will work in any app. It'll work in the magazine interface. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and, and like I said, it'll work in any app you're running. So if you're... Um, if you're running, say, uh, the gallery, if it would run, there it is, and then you can multitask. Now let's start from scratch right here, because I think I'm going to actually open up the gallery anyway. So you can do two things. Now also, uh, there's, you know, to open up the apps half and half on the screen, whether you have it landscape or, um, you know, right, left, if it's in landscape mode or top, bottom, if it's in uh, portrait mode. And there's also that floating uh, apps that you can do where you can, they can kind of be resized and be made in the chat heads, kind of, uh, just like in the Galaxy Note 3, except with the Note 3, you used your pen and that, that special S Pen menu in order to open up this. You can actually do it all from this, so it's actually simpler. So, okay, so now, we're going to show you how to open them up side by side or top and bottom. Okay, so we open it up and we're going to hold down the email and just drag it right over. And now that opens up the email. Now, I don't know if, this, if the email address shows here. It's not a big deal. This is a junk account for me, so do whatever you want if you want to send me junk mails. Um, so that's open. Now you want to open up a second one. You just swipe over. And let's just say we want to open the uh, gallery. Um, oops. I'm going to drag it over here. You can go top or bottom. I'm just going to bring it to the bottom. And uh, what happened? Let's try that again. Do the email. There it is. Okay. So, you have the two windows going and you can do stuff. Now you can you can look at things at the same time, do a YouTube video, whatever you want to do, have MX Player going. Uh, but you can also do some multitasking like for example, let's say you want to attach a picture to an email. So we're going to go ahead and tap on a new email here. Now this does not work in Gmail by the way. So now they have a little floating keyboard here for you to type your email out. But forget that aside right now. Now I'm going to go in here and say select this photo and load it up because this is my gallery here um, so I can you know pretty much load any photo I want hit the back arrow load you know I can say this photo whatever okay now I'm gonna take it I'm gonna long whoops that I gotta click to not want to see that again long press it and bring it right up into the email and it's now gonna attach it so you can you can um, 
just go ahead and do that or you can also um, tap this little circle here and do some things and you can actually tap on this it actually tells you drag or drop part of a par uh, paragraph or take a screen or text or a screenshot of an image to the other window so you can go ahead and hit that icon and hit OK and um, you can also switch the windows okay so now the top one uh, the buttons show to the top if you're on the top one you can also do this which I really don't um, this one here shows a bunch of different uh, most recent ones that you've opened right there and you can actually flick through them and uh, pick the one that you want and then um, you can actually go ahead and make it full screen and get rid of the other one and exit exit out if you and then X out the app now the other thing that you can do as I mentioned the floating let's just back out completely here and we'll go over here and let's just say we're going to open up the gallery. I didn't mean the long press on it. I just want to tap it now. So now the gallery is open as a separate window. And uh, you can still control it. And I got to say, do not show that. Um, so uh, you can go back and fool around with this if this uh, would work. There we go. Um, you can now drag, sometimes dragging this is a little bit of a, there you go, drag it, make it smaller. This will float over any of your apps, and of course you can op open up other ones. So let's say you want to open up Chrome, and there's the Chrome window. Same thing. You just tap on this and resize it. You can resize it up, down, I didn't grab it from the diagonal spot, so it kind of makes it funky. you got to try to grab it diagonal, and there you go. And then you can grab the top and move it around and then these will float. Now you can also minimize it and it makes it a little, ch they make them these little like chat head type things and there they are. You can actually move these around and save them for future use. They float over anything and uh, again I don't really find a lot of use for this uh, but you know if, you, if, you're, if you're an accountant let's say and you use the calculator a lot maybe you could do this and then quickly open up not a big deal you know quickly open these and quickly minimize them uh, there we go and then you know um, to move them around you got to go to the top uh, and then of course you can close them quite easy the other thing I want to show you this is also a nice convenient thing and this actually was on the Galaxy Note 3 but I missed it let's say you've got um, the uh, Chrome open and, and half let's go with the half and half screen um, and then the gallery okay and again, this works side by side. I just want to show you. But what you can do is go down here and there's a edit. You know, you can edit this whole thing just like you could. You could drag out apps that you want and, or don't want in the thing. But what you can also do is if you have two of them already open and you want to, if you constantly use those a lot, you can go ahead and, and uh, tap on create. And this will create a paired window. And I'll just put in test and hit done. And now this is a paired window. And there they are. So let's just go to the uh, hit the home button and we'll start from scratch. There's my paired already. So if you constantly use the same two paired all the time, you can be go a lot quicker and do this. LG has something like this on the G Flex. Um, but it's I think it's the last one uh, that you've used. But this one here you can pair a bunch of them and so that's really nice that's a nice feature if you do find that you use a lot of this the other thing is and I'm not sure I know you can do it on the note 12.2 this is of course available on the 8.4 galaxy pro the 10.1 and the 12.2 but the 12.2 might allow you to do four of these this does not and neither does the 10.1 the 12.2 uh, galaxy tab pro might I know the note um, the Note Pro 12.2 does, um, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it. The Samsung hasn't sent me a unit, uh, so I'm not really certain of that. But I just wanted to make that, uh, you know, make that mention in case you do own a, a Galaxy Pro 12.2. But so that's it. That's uh, multi window, and it's uh, pretty straightforward. And um, I hope uh, this guide uh, helps you to better understand it. 
for all your multitasking needs. So, uh, until next time, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.